let's factorize the polynomial we are looking at. Factorizing a polynomial is a way to express it as a product of powers of irreducible polynomials. In our case, we see that all the monomials are made of x's, so the first thing we do is look for the common factor of the x raised to the smallest power. That is the square x. So it would be a square x multiplying. We take a square x from x raised to 5, 5 minus 2, 3. We would have cube x. From x raised to 4, we would have a square x minus 5 cube x. It would be minus 5x and minus the 3 of the square x we had. That would be equal to a square x times. But first, let's factorize this. The numbers that can divide the independent term are 1 minus 1, 3, and minus 3. Let's start with 1. Using Ruffini's method, 1 from the cube x, minus 1 from the square x, minus 5 from the x, and minus 3. 1 times 1, 1, minus 1, 0, times 1, 0, minus 5, minus 5, times 1, minus 5. And minus 3, minus 5, is minus 8. The last number wasn't 0, so we don't factorize with 1. Now let's try with minus 1. 1 minus 1 minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 times minus 1 2 minus 5 plus 2 minus 3 times minus 1 3 minus 3 0. This means that the cube x minus the square x minus 5x minus 3 is x plus 1 times the quotient. As this is third degree, the quotient will be second degree, so it would be 1 square x minus 2x minus 3. Now we write these two because they are irreducible polynomials. That means that they are polynomials of first degree. We should already know that irreducible polynomials are the ones of first degree or of second degree if they don't have real roots. We still have to factorize the square x minus 2x minus 3. Using Ruffini again, we try with minus 1. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1, minus 3. Times minus 1, 3. Minus 3 plus 3, 0. So we, it would be, again, x minus minus 1 plus 1. Times x minus 3. The result would be like a square x times x plus 1 times x plus 1 square x plus 1 times x minus 3. That is the polynomial that we had but factorized.